In tonight with the President of the United States in the Electric City. President Biden made several stops in Scranton today, including one at his childhood home in the city's Green Ridge section. That's where we find Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin, who talked to the man who now lives in the home. Jack. Lisa and Scott, behind me is that childhood home of President Biden. It was one of the many stops in his visit to Scranton today. Many residents tell us it's a visit they'll never forget. Mm -hmm. It was a busy visit back home for President Joe Biden as he returned to the electric city. In South Scranton, the 46th president's motorcade traveled down Cedar Avenue. A visit Fernando Rosado says means a lot for the people in his neighborhood. I'm overwhelmed. You know why? Because he's for the people. He's for us. And we need someone like him to stay there for four more years. Among the protesters and supporters, Kieran Saunders and Scott Rasmussen from Wayne County stood along Cedar Avenue to catch a glimpse of the president, both getting to see Biden in person for the very first time. I did see the president. He was in his car and I really liked it. It's a lot of anticipation and a lot of different opinions, so it's a little crazy, but we wanted to see him, so we're glad we've seen him. For Martin Kearns, it was another meeting with the president at his home along North Washington Avenue in the city's Green Ridge section, the home he and the president both grew up in. He had been here before. He had been here on election day, and uh, it, it, was, it was great. Kern's mother, who passed away on Christmas Eve, had grown close with President Biden on his many trips back to his childhood home. This was the first time the president was back since she had passed. He wanted to come by and, and all the staff, whenever they came in, they, they, they paid the condolences. So somebody there knew that that's part of what today was about. Kern says the thoughtfulness of the trip meant a lot to his family. He says while President Biden no longer calls Scranton home, the roots he developed years ago never left. It really does shape, you know, an identity that is unique, and I think he feels it and just like so many of us do. President Biden is expected to head out of the electric city sometime tomorrow after 11 a.m. This could cause some traffic delays in the early afternoon rush time, but to keep up to date on that, you can visit our website at WNEP.com. Jack Colkin at Newswatch 16, live in Scranton.